The Dia Bay Reactor Neutrino Experiment marks the first time Hong Kong takes part in a large-scale high-energy physics experiment. The collaboration includes over 200 students and scientists from China, the United States, Russia, the Czech Republic, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Located 55 kilometers northeast of Hong Kong, the experimental site abuts a mountain range with high-quality granite and receives a large number of neutrinos from the adjoining nuclear power plants. We dug a 3.1 km long tunnel and constructed three experimental halls that house eight anti-neutrino detectors. Each detector is 5 meters tall, 5 meters in diameter and contains 192 highly sensitive photomultiplier tubes. The detector is filled with three layers of liquid. Whenever an anti-neutrino reacts with a proton, the products are a positron that carries positive charge and a neutron. The positron soon annihilates with a neighboring electron to produce gamma rays. The neutron is captured by a nucleus shortly afterwards. This reaction also releases gamma rays. Both flashes of gamma rays are converted to visible lights which are detected by the photomultiplier tubes. The recorded luminosities and sequential arrivals are the key evidence confirming that the signal is indeed caused by an antineutrino. By virtue of their enormous penetrating power, an overwhelming majority of the neutrinos do not undergo any reactions as they pass through the detector. On the other hand, cosmic rays can generate a lot of noise that obscures signals from neutrinos. Hence, we placed our detectors inside mountains where they can be shielded from most of the cosmic rays. Furthermore, the detectors are submerged in a waterproof cosmic ray detector. This serves a dual purpose because the water itself can also reduce the ambient radiation. Lastly, the resistive plate chamber on top of the waterproof can record the times when cosmic rays pass through. This allows us to discard the data during such intervals. This is the entrance to the underground facility. The 7.2 meter wide, 6.4 meter tall tunnel is connected to the three experimental halls. They are located at different distances from the nuclear reactors. We call them the Daya Bay Near Hall, the Ling Ao Near Hall, and the Far Hall. When we counted the number of neutrinos detected at each hall, we found that a small number of neutrinos vanished as they traveled. This phenomenon, called neutrino oscillation, is precisely what the experiment sought to measure. This is the Ling Ao Near Hall. The assembly and installation of the entire detector took several months. It is the fruit of the combined planning and efforts of many participating institutions working in close collaboration. Each hall comprises three function rooms. The water room purifies the water in the pool and monitors the water quality in real time. Since the water pool is responsible for detecting the passage of cosmic rays, impurities in the water will reduce its sensitivity. The electronics room processes signals from the detectors and sends them to the control room on the ground. The gas room runs the gas system that is required to sustain the experiment. One of its primary functions is to keep the instruments on top of the detector dry and to prevent the accumulation of the radioactive gas, radon. All data from the detectors and monitoring instruments are transmitted to the control room on the ground that operates round the clock. In March 2012, the Daya Bay Reactor Neutrino Experiment announced the discovery of a new type of neutrino oscillation. The finding was selected by the distinguished magazine Science as one of the top 10 scientific accomplishments of the year 2012. A further breakthrough was made in August 2013, as the experiment in Daya Bay measured the magnitude of a mass splitting via the energy dependence of the oscillation process. The result is a boon to the upcoming quest for neutrino masses. It will also help us unravel the composition of the early universe.